At Planting Fields, we're fortunate to have a complete set of photographs of the site from circa 1925 by famed architecture and landscape photographer Maddie Edwards Hewitt. The full collection was recently digitized and serves as a critical document of a moment in time when, one could say, the site was in full glory. In the 1910s, Hewitt had her office and studio in New York City, which she established with Francis Benjamin Johnson, who was also her partner. From this space, the ladies developed and printed thousands of images of the greatest estates being built at the time, often receiving commissions from high-profile architectural firms like McKim, Mead & White or Carrere & Hastings for their work, the Johnson Hewitt Studio was in demand. And in a Vanity Fair article on their business, the headline stated, they photographed the smart set. By the late 1910s, the duo disbanded professionally and romantically and set off on independent careers. What Hewitt captured at planning fields ranges from stark interior shots, panoramas of key landscape perspectives, and careful compositions of dozens of angles of the gardens in full bloom. Interestingly, we have photos mostly by Hewitt, but several also by Johnson from the same period, though they were no longer working together. The women's photographs are individually embossed. In the quest for building grand country homes like planting fields, clients like the Coes found themselves engaging a network of creators that worked on similarly ambitious projects across the country. Decorators, architects, antique dealers, landscape designers, and metalsmiths were part of a reoccurring cast of characters that shaped these estates and gave them their architectural and aesthetic extravagance. Hewitt was sought after and frequently called upon to document these estates in their prime through masterful architecture and landscape photography. In 2019, Planning Fields completed a cultural landscape report. This is a milestone in understanding the historic intention and precedent of the landscape. It also enabled us to develop a path forward to implement extensive plans to return the Planting Fields landscape to its original splendor, while also retaining space for its evolved meaning as a world-class arboretum. For the CLR, the existing archival documentation related to the making of planting fields became integral to developing plans for restoration and rehabilitation. The landscape as presented in Hewitt's photos are what we strive for as an end result. That said, the landscape today is magnificent, but the original nuance and scale has slightly been muted. The landscape was designed largely by the Olmsted Brothers firm. Hundreds of architectural drawings related to the project reside in the archives at Brookline or in the Library of Congress, while the Hewitt photos live in the Planning Fields Foundation archive. And like the interiors of Coe Hall, which were restored in the last decade, almost entirely informed by the composition of furnishings as captured in the Hewitt photos, so do we intend to have her visual documentation shape the landscape evolution. While these images are time capsules and feature frozen moments in time, planting fields today is defined by a sense of cultural vitality that is evident by the 200,000 plus people that visit us annually.
We're excited to start with the implementation of the Cultural Landscape Report, a multi-year project that will commence this year. Enhancements range from a replanting of the beach cops on the East Lawn, a restoration of the main entrance drive that was originally lined with a double alley of beech trees, and recapturing the vistas on Carshalton Drive, which is visible from Chicken Valley Road. This newfound excitement and deeper understanding of the Olmsted brothers' vision for the planting fields landscape aligns perfectly with the bicentennial of the birth of Frederick Law Olmsted in 2022, a nationwide celebration that planting fields will play a role in. To learn more about this project and anything else going on at planting fields, please visit us online at www.plantingfields.org. Hope to see you on site soon.